Hello and welcome to AZF Arena. You are looking at AZF Rink, where another production of BCA Sports is about to ensue as your Brockton Boxers hockey team faces off against the Durfee Hilltoppers. <clears throat> and the game is underway. Sylvia snaps it around over to O'Connell. And a quick offsides is called. Looks like Ethan Neel Shami jumped the gun a little bit. Face off just outside the Hilltopper zone. Brockton, good early pressure to start. Shot by Sylvia is blocked. <clears throat> Sylvia hustles back on defense as the Hilltoppers dump in. And Sylvia winds it up. And it's out. A little too far for O'Connell. Battle for the puck along the boards. Won by Durfee. And cleared out. Delayed offsides is called. So play resumes. With Durfee going on the attack. Shot blocked. Last second blocked by Dante Massaro. And looks like we have Nathan Petty in net tonight. The junior likely making his first start this year. If you remember last game we covered, Dominic Massaro had started off as goaltender. He was replaced about halfway through the game with Ryan Spano, who did an excellent job. Put a goose egg up for a period of half. Uh, it just wasn't enough as Brockton was shut out 4 nothing. Looking to rebound tonight. Unfortunately, we did learn that the boxers are no longer eligible as a tripping call against Durfee is called. And that's two minutes in the box for them. So again, yes, unfortunately Brockton has uh, officially been eliminated. The mathematics do not line up for an MIAA tournament berth. Uh, there is no technical division this year. There is no big three. Two of the three teams perennially, uh, Brockton and Durfee, who are playing tonight. Uh, unfortunately, New Bedford just decided to cancel their program altogether. Just lack of interest, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> there was some discussion about combining the Durfee and New Bedford teams, but again, just not enough interest from the New Bedford side, so we all move on. A big rush by Brockton. That was Sylvia. Off to Ben Martin, couldn't get it off. Sylvia, clear shot, shot, ooh! Looks like the goaltender did get a piece of that one. It flew over his head. Sylvia back to the point. Paul play is set up. Shot. Stopped. Another save. Good Paul play to this point from the Broxers. Oh, inopportune. And loss of the puck, but they did get in right back. Putting some pressure up front. The puck just laid there, but nothing happened. As Durfee goes for a line change. About 50 seconds left in the penalty. And something you don't see too often, an icing on the power play unit from Brockton. So the puck will be brought back into Brockton territory. The faceoff will be to the right of Mr. Petty. Puck is won by Durfee. Cleared behind the net. As Sylvia has control and moves the puck up. Casually out. Over to L. Shami, who goes on the rush to the right. Stops on a dime. Back to the point to Sylvia. Shot. Save. Another save. Ho, oh, ho, doctor. The goaltender for Fall River today. Oh, and there's a goal. Speak soon, speak soon, they said. 
A big goal by the Brockton Boxers with 11.41 remaining in the first period. That one breaks the ice. We'll get official scoring on that momentarily. So the goal was scored by Nathan L. Shammy, assisted by Dante Massaro, the sophomore forward. Steered away by Petty. O'Connell has it, but can't get it out. Kept in by Durfee. As O'Connell does break it out. It's one on four, but he's going for it. He has help on the wing. Brendan Palermo. Back to Sylvia, shot on net, blocked. Not cleared. Bridges back right in, but blocked again by the Durfee defense. And it is cleared out. Durfee having a hard time getting control of the puck. As Brockton takes over, winds it back in. <laughs> they have one four checker, and a couple of more four checkers are now in play. Three people four checking for Brockton, trying to keep the puck in, but Durfee does clear it out. Right back to Silvio going right in. Shot, save. Fall River goalie is shown bright through the first five minutes of play. Some nice saves. Brockton is up 1-0. Again, just a nick over 10 minutes remaining in the first period. As the puck goes into the Brockton end, Sylvia there to recover. Tries to kick it out to Gagir with no such luck. Durfee on the attack. Shot on net. Petty gets a glove on it and then covers up. Faceoff will be to the right of Petty. Again, I believe making his first start this season. Must be a big day for the junior, the junior goalkeeper. Where hard work and practice does pay off. Everybody's looking for the puck. Peyton Sylvia finds it, cuts right up the gut. Going right in. A shot and a score! Pretty move by Sylvia. Fakes the backhand, goes to the forehand, and really not much of a chance at all for Fall River or their goalkeeper on that one. And Brockton tacks another one on. It is two to nothing. Just under nine and a half minutes remaining in the first period. As the puck is dropped, controlled again by Durfee. Peyton Sylvia with the unassisted goal. Unassisted goal as he went from one end to the other with a mission, with purpose. Scrum for the puck. Brockton does control and out they break. Gagier uh, dumped it in. Adam Flynn chasing after it. And the puck is out. Dumped right back in and out. We're in, we're out. Durfee having a hard time controlling the puck. Keeping it under their control as Brockton sends it back in. Good forechecking by the boxers at this point. Puck remains in, but Durfee, again, Brockton. Not giving them an opportunity to even clear the red line with any type of speed. As they do have a, a man coming off the ice, but Sylvia's there to gobble it up. And here he goes again. Again. And he's going right. Oh, and a nice save. Great move by Sylvia. Just made a straight line down the right side. Said, this one's mine. But the goalkeeper said, not so fast, my friend. 
and got a little a little bit of the left the left arm where that was targeted to the top right Brockton has control uh, loses control Durfee now has it for a potential breakout they decide to dump it in and Brockton looks to do the clearing and does no icing called play on as the Hilltoppers regroup El Shami trying to get in there for some aggressive forechecking and there he is again doing a nice job of disrupting Durfee's flow delayed offsides called Brockton is eligible to go back in and they do so not allowing Durfee even a moment to breathe <clears throat> a rare opportunity where it does go past the red line as Brockton has taken control during this first period 650 remaining in the first two nothing Brockton with an early advantage trying to tack on more pass back to the point Sylvia takes it goes in pinches shot from the point wide beautiful setup just couldn't execute the delivery that's all as Ben Martin kicks it in There's another delayed offside. Brockton has touched up. And right back with the puck is El Shami. Over to Martin. Martin to Sylvia. Martin out front. Nobody's home. <laughs> As the Hilltoppers clear. And make a rush. Oh! Nathan Petty flashing the left pad. It was a nice save. It was a beauty. Brockton just trying to turn it right back around. O'Connell, pretty move. Goes to the back end. Blocked. Good defense by the Hilltoppers. Looks like another penalty will be called. I don't know if we have a slash. Bridges over to Sylvia. Back in the corner. And Durfee gets control of the puck. Time stops. Because there is a penalty on the play. And a hilltopper has been a bad boy. He's going to the box for two minutes. Looks like a hold. <coughs> So Brockton is Brockton is back on the power play, looking to add to their two nothing lead. <coughs> Sylvia shot on net goes wide. Back to Martin. Martin tries to set it up down low. Over to Massaro. El Shami out front blocked. And that one sent down. Brockton, a little less than one and a half minutes left on their power play. They are up 2-0. Sylvia clears it in, and for some ungodly reason, someone is offside. Oh, my. That is not a pretty offside right there, folks. Face-off just outside the hilltopper end. And the face-offs won by Brockton. El Shami, ooh, tried to sneak it in there, almost. Almost, Ben Martin was waiting. And here come the Hilltoppers, good defense. Oh, excellent moves. Pretty, pretty work by that Hilltopper. He just ran into a swarm of Brockton boxer players. Couldn't get through it, good effort. And we're getting a little sloppy along the boards, and it's out. Mm -hmm. 
Couple people lost an edge, and down they go. Massaro trying to create some magic, keeping the puck in. And the puck is cleared. That left, uh, left defenseman was not home. Uh, Sylvia, actually, correction. That is Jalen Bridges. Starts it up. And it's dumped right back in. Line change for Durfee. Some players have come in for Brockton. A semi-line change. The puck is cleared out. Brockton does have control of it. Krushenik looking to make an impact. As we have just over two and a half minutes left in the first period. Durfee deliberate in their pace. Quietly sends it out. Brockton starts back up. There goes Krushenik down the left side. Making a run. Gets knocked down. And we have a tripping call. So Brockton will have another two-minute advantage to take them pretty much through this first period. 2.24 left in the first. Uh, the call, a classic trip. Face-off will be to the right of the Durfee goaltender. And the drop is won by Durfee. Peyton Sylvia takes it back over to Krushenik. Krushenik up front to nothing doing. Brockton looking to keep it in. Back to the point. A rush. Shot. Save over the head. Did get a little piece of it. That was marked for the shoulders or upper area. Another nice save by Durfee. With 149 left in the first, it is 2 nothing, Brockton. Face off to the left of Durfee's goaltender, and the puck is out. <coughs> nice shot on net. Goes wide. A rather lackluster beginning to this power play. Let's see if Brockton can do something with it. And in goes Sylvia. Setting up behind the net. Back to the slot. Shot net goes wide, just whistle through the graveyard. With one minute left in the period, Brockton still on the power play. Oh, tried to sweet spot it. Maybe getting a little cute, too cute this period. Attack and shoot. Brockton changing on the fly with 40 seconds left. And about 15 remaining in the power play. And Sylvia making a last ditch. Oh, and a beautiful setup. Just goes outside the stick. Maybe Brockton player to be named later. And a hard body check by Durfee. As... The last 10 seconds wind down. Brockton looking for one more shot. Not to be. Oh! Does the goal count? I spoke too soon. The goal, I believe, does not count. We'll get clarification in between periods. But for now, after one period of play at AZF Arena, Brockton Boxers 2, 
Durfee Hilltoppers, zero. And we'll be right back right after this important word. We are back for second period action at AZF Arena. You are looking down at AZF Rink where your Brockton boxers are squaring off against the Durfee Hilltoppers. And through the first period of play, things are good for Brockton. They've uh, two scores, so it is two nothing through one period of play. Brockton with the better tempo. Uh, more shots on that, more clear shots. And uh, good defense not to allow Durfee much in the way of offensive attack. A quick shot. Another shot blocked. Brockton firing out. Not messing around, not wasting time, keeping the momentum going. One of the quicker gaps of time in between periods for this one. And we appreciate it. Thank you, referees. Right into the second period. And the puck is loose. Good sportsmanship there. Could have gotten ugly. Fortunately, nobody was banged up as the puck is dumped in. Good contact. A shot on net and another save. Well played tonight. Durfee's goaltender keeping him in the contest to this point. As we are just one minute into the second period with Brockton up 2 nothing. Faceoff will be to the right of the Durfee goaltender. Puck not fully controlled, now controlled by Durfee. And dumped down the end of the ice. Where Petty makes a play on it. Sylvian back, wheeling it around. Krushenik going things over and over to O'Connell. Ooh. He tried to back in with Ben Martin, didn't quite connect, but good idea. O'Connell, oh! Going top shelf, didn't get good one on it. He had the right idea. He just couldn't get solid wood on it. As Durfee has control. Pressure from Brockton. As Durfee breaks it out. Trying to get that puck on edge. Off edge. Durfee showing some paddles. Showing some toughness. As they remain in this game. Still only 2 nothing, folks. Uh, Brockton in the past has historically had their way with the Hilltopper team. Uh, some games out of, out of hand fairly early, but not this one, not tonight. And that's why they play the games. You just never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> Special congratulations go out to our hometown NFL football team, your New England Patriots. Bringing home another Lombardi trophy. That'll be thick that they brought in since 2002. Yes, 2001 was the year, but they didn't win the Super Bowl until 2002. And then just last night, in a way that nobody anticipated, Brockton limited the Los Angeles Rams to three total points. A uh, great way for de facto defensive coordinator Brian Flores to go out. And uh, Belichick, I'm sure, will have everybody up to speed. The scouting department will probably get everybody up to speed, get ready for the draft, free agency, and on and on it goes. And we enjoy every minute of it almost as much as we enjoy Brockton Boxers hockey 
where the boxers have controlled the buck. They have controlled the game at the moment at 2 nothing. with oh, just over three minutes gone in the second period. Faceoff will be down Brockton's end. Yeah, Nathan Petty starting in goal this evening. Had a hard working year. Um, committed to practice every day. And that hard work pays off with a start tonight for Mr. Petty. Oof, Jerfy with a little bit of pressure here. Brockton better wake up or they're going to find their lead cut in half. Quick like. Just can't get it out of their own end. Sloppy play all around. Shot through the crease. Nothing happening. Back. A Durfee slap shot. Blocked by one of the defenders. Again, another block. And out they go. Jack Mahoney after that puck. Yeah, chasing him is Ryan Flannery, number six. Good poke check by Mahoney on that play. That was a nice, a nice quick poke check. Did the trick. And Mahoney's digging for it again. But it's a nice and call. It'll be back down on the Brockton end of things. With Ten and a half minutes remaining in the period. Looks like Massaro's in for the faceoff. That's one by Brockton. Cleared up and out. Durfee quickly retrieves it right back in. Durfee taking the play to Brockton. Oh, a shot over Petty's glove. Looked like he went to grab it and just missed. Oh, what speed! A shot wide. Oh, Peter Sylvia, point blank range. Tried to go high, went too high. Ten minutes left in the second period with Brockton leading to nothing. Boxers gain control. Trying to inch it forward. Peter Sylvia loses escape but battles. Puck is kept in by Sylvia. Goes down low. Looking for somebody to feed it to. Feeds it back to the point. And he took the puck out of the end, out of the, the area, and then back in, and hence the whistle. Four and offside. As Durfee clears the puck, Brockton trying to inch their way up. Durfee has it, wraps it around the boards and out. And delayed offside. Back to the action. El Shami trying to kick it back. Didn't work. A lot of dancing. No one with the control. As O'Connell tries to stabilize that. <clears throat> Goes around the horn and out. Not sure of the point of that, but it was not successful, so Brockton will regroup. And that will be an icing on your boxers. Durfee hanging right with Brockton this period. But for the first two goals delivered by Brockton, we have an even game. I'd say probably halfway through the first period. Oh, and 
just like that. Worked its way through. Not sure who put it on net, but nevertheless, it's a goal. And just like that, Durfee cuts this game in half. It is now 2-1, to one, Brockton, with 8.5 left in the second period. And Brockton simply has to wake up. They're the better team. They're the more talented team. Uh, again, they found themselves in these positions before where they're getting outworked. And they're paying a hefty price. Durfee feeling the energy, feeling the vibe. Continue with the pressure down in the Brockton end. Again, two to one. Box is clinging to a one goal lead and they've been clinging for the better part of this period where Durfee has uh, outworked them. Let's see if Brockton has an answer. As the puck is loose in the corner, Brockton gets control, clears it out, and dumps it in. After it goes El Shamir on one side. And we have a penalty on Brockton. My goodness, things are not going well for your hometown team at the moment. 7.53 left in the second period. This game has changed on a dime. As Durfee will now be going on the power play. Brockton's had three chances. And haven't done a, a, a ton with it. Brockton short-handed. Oh, Massaro comes in like a man with the mission. And oh, what was that? This announcer's frustration is growing by the second, folks. Good job by Sylvia. Killing time, shoots, oh! Taylor made for the corner, but it went wide. Good idea as Durfee. Brockton, nice job killing this penalty. They're doing outstanding work. As Durfee finally reaches uh, the Brockton end of uh, the ice, they try to set it up on the perimeter. A uh, shot that went nowhere, and the puck is back out. Some sticks are flying uh, high, but no harm, no foul. Durfee just looking for an open man, but can't find one as Brockton dumps it back in. Brockton changes up their lines, changes it up a couple of players. As Durfee winds it back up. And shot down the other end of the ice. O'Connell after it. Good penalty killing by O'Connell. Understands keeping the puck in their own end and keeping the time ticking is huge. As O'Connell does it. To a T. Precious time on the penalty, ticking away. Outstanding work by Kate O'Connell on this shift. El Shami still into a harass. A long outlet pass, connects with Durfee. A shot, and Petty engulfs it. The faceoff will be to his left. With 5.46 remaining in the second period, 2-1. to one. Brockton holds on to that lead. Brockton cannot clear the puck. Kenny Young tries to get it out and does so with a potential breakout here for Brockton. Sylvia, a shot, a goal! Palermo, his coming out party is tonight. Welcome aboard Brendan Palermo. Pretty goal, beautiful setup by O'Connell. 
who is playing absolutely lights out this period. And Brockton with a big goal goes up 3 1. Palmero assisted by Peter Sylvia. And Palermo going for number two. Oh, a shot, but a nice save. As we're two thirds away through the second period with five minutes remaining, Brockton, a big insurance goal up three to one. Let's see if they can add some more as those pesky hilltoppers hang around. Big response by Brockton because this period was not shaping up. Going, It was not going very well for the hometown team. Uh, sloppy play, uh, indecision. Uh, but Palermo, Sylvia, and O'Connell, who are out here right now, are changing that, are changing that novel, changing that story. O'Connell, a good attempt, but to no avail. Oh, and... Brockton got lucky on that one. The ice is a little slow at the moment. Shot on that goes wide of Petty. As they try to set up in front, but nobody was home. And look at the hustle. Look at the hustle by Adam Flynn. Great job by Flynn. Sets up in front. Krushenik trying to do some damage. How bad do you want it, folks? It's a question we often ask. How bad do you want it? And another potential breakout. Oh. And back and forth. With no icing called, they wave off the icing. Play on. Thank you, good referee. We play on. Approaching three minutes remaining in the second period. As the puck is in, and Shane Machine trying to get it out. Durfee keeping it in. Doing a nice job of keeping it in. Putting the pressure on Brockton here. As Durfee comes out with it, a shot on that goes through. Saved by Petty. The puck is cleared. Is it iced? It is an icing. With 2.27 left in the second period, Brockton hanging on to a three to one lead. A tale of, man, this was almost a full period of dominance by Durfee, but just like that, at about the five minute mark, Brockton ramped it up and put a key goal in making the score three to one. Uh, puck is covered up calmly by Petty. And another face off will be to his right. Puck remains in. Brockton looking any reason to get it out, and they do. And an ice. Ah, icing. Can make a hockey game go longer. As Brockton looking for some a few good men out there, and they bring him up. We have Masaro El Shami and Ben Martin on offense, on defense. Peyton Sylvia shoots. Oh, and it's a goal. Goalie almost made an incredible stop, but he was going in one direction. Sylvia shot it to his right and couldn't get enough of the pad on it. So a big goal. 
with 152 left in the second period, Brockton suddenly goes up four to one. And just like that, those that goal that they lost, they get back that and then some. And that's what good teams do. Battle. Massaro trying to do something with it. Pass up front, beautiful setup, and a save. Martin didn't get enough of wood on that one, but it was a it was an important save nonetheless. As Brockton goes back to retrieve it, Durfee on their heels, on their skates. They come up with a battle. Ooh, and a shot goes wide of Petty. Petty's been tested a little bit today, not too much, but when he has been, he's been ready for the most part. Battle, one minute left in the period. There is one minute left in the period as Brockton gains control and breaks out. Martin. Oh, Massaro flying around this period. Outstanding work. As Durfee looking to make a final run before the end of the period, we are coming up to one half minute remaining in this second period. Durfee putting all the pressure on. Keeping it in. Sylvia wants it out. He gets it out. He's moving. Oh! Pretty goal. Peyton Sylvia, top shelf. That's just like that. We went from two to one less than five minutes ago. Now... Brockton can breathe. It is five to one with 20 seconds remaining in the second period. Another unassisted goal by Sylvia. He just made it happen. He took it from center ice, said this is mine. Thank you, step out of the way. You're welcome. Going up high, nice save with just a little more than one second remaining in this period. As a faceoff will be to the left of the Durfee goalkeeper, the goaltender. Almost impossible. Up, oh, they made the almost impossible possible by putting a shot on net. It's gobbled up, gobbled up by Durfee, and after a slow start to the second per period, Brockton Boxers turned it up a notch and scored three unanswered goals to make the score after two periods of play. Brockton five, Durfee one. We will be back for breathtaking third period action in a moment. But first, please watch these important messages. How to start that conversation with your friend about their mental health. First, make sure you aren't too far away. Closer, closer. Whoa, 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 too close. Now have something open-ended like, you all good? Are you all good? Or, is everything okay? Is everything okay? Well done, awkward teenage actor. Thanks for you know. Thanks for asking. Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. When Scott and I had thought about expanding our family as our kids were getting older, we knew that we wanted to do it probably in a non-traditional way, such as through adoption or foster to adopt. We felt like our, our family still had room to grow. When we first met Isaiah, he was 16 going on 17, and I instantly knew that age didn't matter, that I could be his mom regardless. I just kind of knew, like, this is, this is where I was meant to be. I think there's a myth that you need to have a child from infancy to really bond and have those first moments with them. The first time that he actually had his driver's permit in hand made me feel pretty darn proud. I always teach my kids to drive with a manual. That always makes for interesting moments. I took the wrong turn up a hill, and then I didn't know what to do. So we started kind of rolling back down. Going backwards back into traffic. I'm in the passenger seat going, oh, this isn't very good. And he was super calm, like, even though we were in some serious danger. Isaiah's first Thanksgiving with us. We do what's called the turkey trot here in Duluth. It is a 5K on Thanksgiving morning. Isaiah, he told us that he was a runner, and we're like, perfect, let's go do this. 
We run in teams. The losing team wears the stuffed turkey hats the next year. Within the first couple seconds, he was gone. He pretty much finished in the top 40 out of about 3,000 people. I won't lose to them, hopefully. When Isaiah first started spending weekends with us, he wouldn't leave his shoes in the entryway. He kept on doing that for several months after he moved in. And I remember coming home one night, and I opened up the door, and there were these big tennis shoes sitting right in the entryway. And that's when I knew that Isaiah felt like he was home. And that was a pretty cool feeling. When Isaiah got accepted into college and he was able to participate in athletics there, it was the proudest I think I've ever seen him. It was awesome running my first college race. It was just kind of special to see all, everyone there. I really like when my family comes with me. It's like, I just, I, I love it. It's fun to watch him compete. I was a track coach, and it's something that I think we can relate to each other on. I have parents that I, I love, and that's just, I think that's pretty incredible. I only have one mom mode. It's not any different for Isaiah than it is for, for Ashley or Devin. There's definitely nothing perfect about me as a father, um, but I enjoy every day of it. I've had the privilege of holding two beautiful babies in my arms, and I've also had the privilege of Isaiah looking us straight in the eyes and saying, I want to join your family. And I can tell you that feeling is exactly the same. It is pure love. And we are back for third period action from AZF Rank. I am Jay Miller, along with cameraman Mike the Postman Simmons. We're bringing you coverage of BCA Sports, Brockton High School Hockey. And after two full periods, the boxers lead the Durfee Hilltoppers 5-1. to one. Things were getting a little dicey there halfway through the second period, but Brockton was able to recover, put three quick ones in the back of the net and have created some breathing space for themselves heading into this third period. El Shami breaking out. And the shot goes up and out. Face off will be inside the Hilltopper's end. Massaro takes the face off, wins it, back to the point. Shot by... And back to the point, fanned on. Brockton still has possession. Shot on net goes wide. Massaro trying to thread it to El Shami, to no avail. Sylvia back on his horse. Recovers the puck. Good pass, taking the body as well. As the puck is dumped in by Durfee. Oh, pretty move by Sylvia to get that hill topper off his back. Massaro putting, going towards the net, puts it on net. Goes wide, Martin digging back there for it. And we have a stoppage in play. Looks like the net was dislodged. A better problem to have than the old days when those nets basically did not move, folks. And if you... Skated into one or ran into one. You were feeling it. But with through technology becomes innovation and greatness. Hence the hockey net with the metal beams inside. Keeping it where it needs to be but not locked down where it's unsafe for contestants. 
Durfee trying to get it out. Brockton keeps it in. Nice job. Nicely done. That's by Peter Sylvia. Good work. He gets the puck. Goes towards the net. Blocked. And the puck is out. Brockton dumps it right back in. As Durfee taps it out. Icing is off, waved off. Good effort by the Durfee four checkers to kill that ice. As Brockton gets it out of the zone, Sylvia winds up from a mile away, puts it on net. And we'll have a face off to the left of the Hilltopper, a goaltender. And it's covered up again. Face off, same spot. Let's try it again. And the one back to the point. Trying to get it through that curtain of defenders. And Durfee has done a decent job of Sagging their defense back, making it difficult for Brockton to get any kind of, any kind of quality shot through. And the puck is cleared. No icing. Let him play. Kushanek lost control of the puck. Brockton gets it back and out. Thrown towards the net and it's wide. Shot, nice save. And a stoppage in play with four minutes gone by in this third period. Brockton five, Durfee one. Overall, a solid effort tonight from, from the boxers uh, early into this third period. They took the play to them the second half of the second period, which was much needed because, uh, frankly, Brockton was on their heels doing large pot to Durfee's play and hustle. Oh, Puck laying out in front of the net, but they can't be brought home. As the puck is cleared down the other end of the ice, Sylvia, eyes on the back of his head, waiting for, to get hit. Works that puck, not out. And that puck is wound around the boards and out. And back in. A little, you have the ball, no, you have the ball. No, you have the puck, no, we have the puck. Durfee looking for some stained puck control. Haven't had much of it. Brief part of the second period, they looked pretty sharp there. But again, Brockton has settled down with under 10 minutes remaining in the third period. They are well on their way to a victory here this evening. Durfee pushed off the puck nicely and they return the favor. Sylvia nonchalantly swipes at the puck and gets it out of the way. Very calm, cool, collected customer. Shot is blocked. Nice save by Petty. Flash the right pad. It was a beaut. As Brockton quietly clears it up. 
shot blocked by Sylvia. And a classic trip will be called. So Brockton has an opportunity to remove their goaltender, which they do. An extra skater is on the ice. Brockton looking to score six on five. A shot on the front of the net. Oh, and they touched up just in the nick of time. Brockton will be going on the power play, their fourth of the game. Looking to capitalize on one of these. Durfee not pleased with the call. Seems to be some sort of dispute on what language is used uh, during one of the recent plays. And the referee is just giving the Turfy head coach a brief synopsis of what was discussed, what was said, and what was discussed. As we begin play again, uh, possibly. Yes, there we are. The puck will drop. It did. And we move on as Brockton has control of the puck. Sylvia shoots it on net. A nice foot save by the goaltender who's had quite a nice game tonight. As does Nathan Petty. Nathan has done a nice job tonight. He's only let one in. And solid communication coming from him all night. Let's see how Brockton sets this one up. Behind the net, but Turfey's there to corral it. Petty lets that one go, and there's a race for it. Good work by Brockton to get it out. That's Massaro on the fly. He means business. He cuts to the middle. And a goal! A sneaky goal, but one nonetheless. We'll find out who scored that goal in a moment. Halfway through to the third period, it is six to one Brockton leads the Durfee Hilltoppers looking for more. Out in front, shot, save. The goal was indeed by Nathan El Shami making a case for player of the game, him and Peyton Sylvia. You two lead dogs. We do have a couple of dark horses. We have Kate O'Connell and uh, Dante Massaro, who really shot some energy into that team with about five minutes left in the second period. And it's been a completely different game. There is still time for a winner to emerge. Shot on net, knocked down. Knocked down at the point of contact. Almost like a batted ball, an NFL ball, a Hail Mary pass, if you will. Goalie took a page right out of right out of a defensive back's playbook. Knock it down. Delayed offside. With six minutes left in the third period. Puck is shot in on net, covered up. <laughs> 
And another cover up. <clears throat> As Durfee gains control and they're out. And that's an offside. Tried to stay onside to no avail to no such luck. So the faceoff will be outside the Brockton end of the ice. And a quick drop. Controlled by Durfee. Brockton gets it back. She knows the penalty box. Another penalty for the Durfee Hilltoppers as Brockton goes back on the power play. And there's their fifth skater out, ready for battle. Good hustle by Durfee, outworking the Brockton players to the puck. A masterful job of killing time. Outstanding work. Each team throwing their bodies around. And a breakout by Durfee. Petty to be tested. Oh, and he flashes the left pad. It was a beauty. Save of the night. Coming from Nathan Petty. Outstanding job. Flash that left pad. No chance whatsoever of that getting by. As the puck rolls down. Brockton still on the power play. And playing hot potato again, as that's an icing. Four minutes remaining in the third period with Brockton up to a comfortable six to one lead. Looks like that, that one's well in hand. Now for the next four odd minutes, will Brockton finish strong? As the puck is finally cleared out, taken back by Durfee, going the long route, and shoots it up the end of the ice. There is a penalty still in play, and that penalty has just ended. And Brockton, no shots on that power play. And there is a hook that was just let go. Unfortunately, it looks like Palermo was a little banged up on that last encounter over in the corner. He'll be coming out. And it's an opportune time to announce that our third star of the game this evening, evening is none other than Mr. Palermo, who is now on our radar. He had a solid second period into a, a even more solid third period. And... Therefore, Mr. Palamro is our third star of the game. As the puck just languishes on the outsides, 
Brockton look like they're still on the power play, even though they are not, with two and a half minutes left. Battle for puck possession. On it goes. Shot on net. He's been doing some tomahawking back there. He's been knocking some of those down, like chopping at. Oh, and a shot just wide. O'Connell trying to get into the scorebook tonight. Two minutes left in this encounter between the Brockton Boxers and the Durfee Hilltoppers as the puck is finally cleared up. And there's a soft, smooth, nice roll to it. And it goes to O'Connell. O'Connell looking to get onto the tally sheet tonight. Broken up. Our number two star of the game this evening is Mr. Nathan L. Shami. Number two star of the game. Uh, excellent energy. Good presence out in front of the net. And with just over a minute left, our number one star of the game for today is Peyton Sylvia. Peyton Sylvia with a couple of goals, a couple assists, his usual steady defense, solid as a rock in the back end. With one minute left in the period, again, your star of the game tonight, it is Peyton Sylvia. Oh, a pretty goal, a tip. That looked like it went between the legs, too. That was something. That was sweet. That was Flannery on the goal. Most impressive. Brockton looking to run the clock out. Up 7 to 1. So again, Flannery on that goal. Flannery, if you're keeping score at home, if you are, good golly, what are you doing? But if you really are, then God bless you. Because somebody has to do it. As the time ticks down, the Brockton Broxers with about five minutes left and clinging to a two to one lead, just put up five unanswered goals on Durfee and they didn't know what hit them. And just like that, it was game set match at the end of the second period. As this tilt comes to an end and the good news is Brockton is in the win column again with a strong 7-1 victory over the Durfee Hilltoppers. We will be covering the remainder of the Brockton High School hockey team as well as the remainder of the regular season for both basketball teams, the girls and boys, as they fight to try to get into the tournament. So for cameraman extraordinaire, postman Mike Simmons, I'm Jay Miller. We hope you enjoyed tonight's contest with, again, the final being Brockton Boxers 7, Durfee Hilltoppers 1. Stay tuned for future BCA Sports broadcasts of hockey and basketball. Good night, everyone. Good night.